Hello everyone, welcome to Skillbell Tutorials. This is Lifeway 6.2 Development Tutorials Session 8. In this session, we are going to create a custom controller for our Lifeway portlet. In the previous session, we have seen, uh, we, we have created the portlet uh, with a view.jsp uh, page. And in this session, we have to learn the Liferay portlet faces as well. Not Liferay portlet faces, a portlet faces as well. So a portlet basically have two faces, which is render face and an action face. So render faces are actually executing every time while the action faces are not executing every face, uh, every time. So each time when a page load, the render phase of every portlet will be executing but the action phases are only executed when one action is supposed to do when an action is supposed to execute that is like a form submission of a portlet happens only that portlets only that particular portlets action phase is going to execute rest of the portlets action phases are not going to execute first let us uh, create uh, a package let's start creating a package and then uh, we can map that uh, we, we can create a class in that package and we can convert that class to a mvc controller liferay mvc controller then we can map that uh, class to our uh, portlet.xml then we we can see how this is actually going to execute so in this section we will look at the render phase alone and the next session we will look at the action phase as well so here's how i'm going to create a package right click on the src folder new package here i'm going to give package name com.neonix dot wow life ray that's it i'm going to create this package so i can see a package and again i'm going to create a new class here i'm going to create the class name wow controller okay and uh, i have to <coughs> uh, i have to look for a class MVC portlet. This is the one life ray uh, util bridge MVC controller that MVC portlet controller. I have to extend just finish. I can see an MVC portlet wow controller is created. Now if you look at the portlet.xml file you will be you will be seeing the com dot dot util bridges mvc portlet is actually mapped here as a portlet class so now we have created a new wow controller we have to map that custom class over here so how i do mapping is first i need to copy the com dot neonix dot wow life it has to be given with the full packages let me close the rest of the files which is unused at this stage Okay, there is a T, I have to use that, remove, then move to wall controller, copy the class name, the full class path uh, I have uh, given, the package name, the including the package name, the class path I have given to the portlet.xml. So now uh, this should be, uh, this should be uh, working perfect, so uh, let me just deploy it. just deploy let me see when it is completing its deployment okay the deployment will start okay now the port portlet is available for use let us see okay now now you know this portlet has loaded once at the 
um, uh, at the page so th there is nothing we have uh, done in the action phase or re render phase we just created the class with the configuration change the portlet works fine that is that we ensured the portlet is working fine with our configuration change okay now let me do this uh, let me show you this here you have uh, you have an option in Eclipse you right click uh, source and go to the uh, generate override or implement methods okay look at this you, you, you see the mvc portlet and you have uh, a lot of method which you can override and you know your render is actually happening through the do view method so this this is the render phase is going to execute from a life ray mvc framework the do view will be executed so uh, as we have not overridden the do view the do view will be executing um, from the mvc portlet uh, class itself so let, now i have overridden this uh, the do view portlet uh, do view method came here let me just put a system dot out dot print and to show you this rend uh, render is happening through this method render view of wow life ray portlet okay i put my smiley here okay now what we are going to do is we are going to deploy this again deploy let me bring my tomcat console back okay it came to the front okay now one port let wow life ray is available for us that means the deployment is completed now let's reload the page by clicking the welcome if you look at the console you see this we have been successfully implementing our render method so this render is executed so let's let's go back refresh the page refresh the page two three times and open the console you see how many times you look you uh, reloaded the page all those times your render method has been executed okay so that that that's what the render method is doing and um all right so it, let me just create one more page and show you one more one another example which will be more convenient for you okay so i'm just creating a uh, two columns uh, 50 50 and add the page okay i got the action page what i'm going to do i'm going to add application uh, or wow life report like i'm adding in this page and uh, i probably will add a social portlet okay this this in suit collaboration okay let me just uh, add my um, message board portlet over here okay so the message board portlet uh, is uh, having uh, this message board portlet have its uh, uh, its action phases uh, already implemented anyway we are going to implement that in our wow life report like as well but before that i have to show you this this is going to be a post new thread what happens at this time you see one more print statement has been came here that is a render view of wow life report like you see one two three four five six six print statements for this wow life ray has been executed all right i'm just going to uh, do a skill bell post test post so if i do this publish what hap what is going to happen another execution another action phase execution for the message port portlets will happen but there is only one 
render will be happening for this wow life right so if i publish this so this publishing happens and uh, you could see there is one two three four five six and seven that is the seventh one newly came uh, for this wow life report right? so now th this request uh, completed successfully came to this message board portlets that means the message board portlets executed an action phase but it didn't affect the wow life ray to execute its render phase and one more rule is whenever an action phase is executed there should be or there will be an execution of a render phase also happening just just after com just complete okay sorry let me reframe it L let me reframe it um, like every action phase execution will be ending up in a render phase execution that means after the message boards action phase executed the render phase of message boards will execute also the live my new portlet the wow life report lets render phase execution also will happen at this phase okay we will uh, see that uh, action phase creation in the next tutorial which i am going to create and there we will uh, we will get more understanding about the action phase and render phase thank you for watching skill bell tutorial videos and keep supporting us thank you again